all the brush selling people probably hate me now, but I'm sorry. The people got to know the truth. <laughs> like at a certain point, you got to understand it's not the brush that does the brushing. It's all in here. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I did a painting with only the default brushes and then I went back in with the custom brushes to see how much of a difference custom brushes actually make. Now that painting was a portrait. If you wanna see how that one turned out, I'll leave the link in the description. But today we're gonna to be doing the same thing. We're gonna be painting with the default brushes and then comparing it with the custom brushes. But instead we're gonna be doing an environment because a lot of you guys asked me in the comments. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna try this one out too because I'm kind of curious to see how this is gonna turn out. I want to know how much the custom brushes actually matter in a painting like this. I mean, if all goes well with my default brushes, I'll be putting some brush sellers out of business. <laughs> I mean, I personally use a lot of custom brushes for my uh, environment paintings. So I've, I've never actually really tried painting with only the default brushes for environments, but uh, this should be really fun to do. Okay, so let's get started. I pulled up a reference right here. What I like about this is it's got a bunch of different textures. Like if you look in the background, there are buildings, fences, man-made structures. On the ground, there's, there's like that rocky concrete texture and I really, really like that. And there's also a lot of foliage pushed to the back. But today I'm gonna to show you guys how to approach this painting with just the default brushes, no crazy textures, no crazy effects, just good old pressure opacity. And we hit record on my screen. Didn't forget to record. I'm evolving. All right, so uh, if you look on my screen here, I'm pulling down the window. These are the general brushes. They're the default brushes that come with Photoshop. And uh, you could find brushes like these in pretty much any drawing app. It doesn't get more basic than this. Okay, so I put down a really, really quick sketch just so I know where things are gonna go. Sometimes I like to just paint environments without actually putting down a sketch, just you know, just to have it be a little bit more free. But for this one, uh, I'm gonna go with a sketch because it's, it's pretty complex. Now, one thing you're gonna see me use a lot in this process is the lasso tool. And it is really, really good for getting these hard edges and uh, mapping out the shapes. It's hard to get these uh, super straight rigid lines with just uh, regular brush work. So the, the lasso tool really helps out uh, in terms of that. Usually when you start painting an environment for the first half of the painting, it doesn't look like anything. So you really just gotta trust the process here. Okay, so at this point, it's been 15 minutes and we've gone in and done some basic color blocking. And right now in this stage, it, you know, we're not worried about the textures at all. So I'm doing just fine with the default brushes. But as we get into a little bit more detail, we'll see how we're gonna handle like all the different uh, foliage textures as well as the rock textures and all that. So um, we'll see how this pans out as we move forward. So I've just turned off the sketch layer because the painting I think is becoming relatively readable. Uh, you can kind of see what's going on here now without uh, the need of a sketch. So now's a good time to uh, get rid of the sketch and just go uh, freehand into the actual painting. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. We have a pretty good idea of uh, what this piece is gonna look like now. I think now is about time we dive into a little bit more detail with this piece. So uh, we're gonna see how, how well we can fare with our default brushes. really aware with my brush size in this painting because uh, because when I'm trying to paint the details since there are no crazy textures on these brushes I have to uh, make these textures manually making the brush very small allows me to uh, get some pretty interesting types of textures onto these rocks and foliage and things like that There's a lot of detail in this photo, man. What? I should should have picked a simpler reference photo. Now you're gonna see that without texture on my brushes, I have to really try to mimic the textures of whatever it is that I'm drawing. So for foliage, I would uh, use the brush in a different way than I would say, for example, with the uh, concrete on the ground. Okay, an hour in. Uh, this is taking a bit longer than I expected because this reference photo has so much detail, but uh, I think we're in about the final stretch now. I just need to polish up some of the, uh, the, the really small details and add in the two cats in the photo and we should be about done with this piece. So yeah, <laughs> let's, let's do it, final stretch.
Okay, so it's been about an hour and 30 minutes and here is the final piece that we were able to do with the default brushes. Again, no textures, nothing special here, just the default brushes uh, in Photoshop. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think I was able to get a decent amount of textures with these brushes. You know, it's, it's all manual, so it took a little bit longer, uh, but Overall, I think it's a lot of fun to do this, but now I'm gonna go back and do some uh, more painting with a custom brush. So I saved the process for this piece uh, before I actually completed it, and I'm going to uh, go from this stage right here and try to complete this piece using my custom brushes to see how different it's gonna look. So right off the bat, I'm just going in with a very rough texture for the rocks and immediately I can tell this is saving me a lot of time. It's, it's uh, going to progress this painting a lot faster because I don't have to manually do every single bit of the texture. And this might also give the painting a bit of a different feel once we finish. Now I can tell that my approach with this uh, with this piece right now with these custom brushes is a lot looser because I'm so used to using these brushes and I'm very comfortable with them. So I can really just get into kind of a flow here and go wild with the gestures. Okay, so I went back into this piece for another, I wanna say 25 minutes, and here is the final result with my custom texture brushes. Uh, so I'm gonna put these pieces side by side so you can see the differences here. Now the textures are different, the feeling, the mood, and might be a little bit different because of that, but those are small details, okay? So when you guys take a look at both of these paintings, uh, one thing I want you to think about is look at the understructure of the painting look at the uh, foundation of it the different colors that are being used the uh, composition and everything it all stays the same so that kind of that right there is kind of like the constant but the variable is the different textures that you add on top now with environments there are obviously a lot more different textures but what stays the same is the foundation that you lay down and this foundation is something the brushes can't do for you now, so when i take a look at both of these pieces they're built up the same way. It's not like the uh, default brushes made the painting a certain way and then as soon as you add in custom brushes, it turns into something entirely different. If you take a look at these from far away at a glance, they're pretty much the same. As you get closer, as you start looking at the details, that's when you can see it, start seeing the differences. So overall, do you need custom brushes to make a good painting? The answer is still no. But the one area where I think custom brushes really shines is in efficiency. It saves you a lot of time. You can see, what, by the way, that I was working on those rock staircases. It was just so fast. It, I was able to apply a texture and get that rock feeling really, really fast in, in a matter of you know a couple minutes. Whereas with the default brushes, I had to really get in there and render out every single detail. And it took a long time because they didn't have any uh, custom textures. So I think the, the real benefit of having custom brushes is uh, it gives you some interesting little nuanced details that you might find interesting in the painting and it might save you a little bit of time. But overall, you don't, you, you definitely don't need those brushes and you don't need them to be able to make good paintings. You can jump into these paintings with 
your default brushes. And as long as you have the fundamental knowledge, you understand your colors, you understand your lighting, you got your perspective down, you can make good paintings with any brushes that are available to you. Okay, so there it is guys. Custom brushes do make a difference in your paintings, but you don't need them to be able to paint well. So in conclusion, instead of worrying so much about what brushes you should be using and what brushes somebody else is using, just go out there and paint. You're gonna have a good time regardless of what brushes you're using. Don't let other people tell you like, hey, you need to get these foliage brushes to be able to paint leaves effectively because you absolutely do not. Do what you can with what you've got and figure out what works for you. At the end of the day, it's about you and your own skills and your own foundations and how much you're practicing and how much you're trying to improve. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. That'll really help me out a lot. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Ah, I'm so tired. I really hope you guys understand the point of this video. Like the brushes aren't everything. Brushes are maybe like 20%. This is part two of Sam versus brushes. I think this, this video might put some, uh, some brush sellers out of business. People asking about custom brushes really gets to me, man. Ooh, I forgot to make my Instagram post today. Ah, okay. There we go. If you guys are not following me on Instagram yet, I have a link in the description. Make sure to go check that out. That's where I post all my work.